Bruce and Ken for hosting this, and George for having this idea. Uh, from the turnout, you can tell that there's a lot of interest in this community in uh, getting something done. And I want to echo something that uh, Bruce said earlier. Our economic uh, recovery in the United States is going to come right here. This is uh, where ideas are forged, businesses are built, and what Bruce asked me to talk about today was springboarding your business. And as a small business development consultant, I see businesses in every stage from I've got a great idea to we've got a management team, initial funding, SBIR grants, and we need to commercialize. So there are a couple of things I wanted to leave you with today. Uh, one of them is a couple of great resources. So if you're looking for money, and I know a lot of people are, who isn't, uh, Angel List is a kind of a crowdsourcing website where you can post a project and investors actually go there to look for ideas. It's started by a gentleman named Jason Calacanis, and he started a group called the Silicon Valley Insider um, out of New York several years ago, back during the dot-com uh, boom. And then he sold that off, uh, became an angel investor himself. He's kind of a maverick in the angel investing circle. And he thinks that by next year, crowdsourcing is going to be where angel investment comes from. Uh, he thinks that people, there's a, there's a website called Kickstarter. It's another place where you can go online, post a, an idea or a project, and get investment money from crowds. And he thinks that the SEC will have to be actually uh, issuing an exemption of up to $5 million for these kind of programs as early as uh, early next year. One of the problems I have with crowdsourcing is the worst thing you can do for an entrepreneur in many cases is just give them money. Because what they do is they spend it. And they spend it on things that they don't that won't push the business forward. So I've seen it happen time and again where somebody actually does get the money they're looking for, and the next thing you know, they're calling you back and they're saying, I'm out of money, I need more money. And it's like, okay, well what milestones have you hit? Well, we're almost to milestone number one. That, that just doesn't work. So one of the keys to having an angel investment group, and one of the reasons I'm really excited about what Bill's doing, is that you need more than just money. You need mentorship. You need somebody that you can talk to that can help you over those challenges, that can get you to those milestones so that you can get that next round of funding, or even better, not need that extra round of funding because you're, you've got some traction, you've got something in the market, you're generating revenue, and uh, you may actually qualify for a bank loan or something like that. Uh, one of the problems I see angels, or not angels, but entrepreneurs doing is giving up too much of their company too early. And it's because you don't have those resources, you don't have the person behind you that can tell you, look, here's what you need to do. So we've got a number of resources in that area here today. We've got Keith with SCORE and some of the other gentlemen from SCORE. They're very good at helping. These are guys who have been there and done that. You need their advice. You have uh, the Tritech Small Business Development Center. Uh, we're a SBA uh, supported group, so we provide counseling for free too. We're basically looking at high scale, high growth technology companies. And uh, what we do is we don't provide funding. We don't help you get funding. A lot of people have that misconception. What we do is help you get you fundable. So on that note, what makes a company fundable? First of all, having an idea and a business plan on the back of a cocktail napkin may have worked in the 90s. It doesn't work today. You need a management team. You need a market need for your product. I mean, you may have the greatest product in the world, but if nobody's going to buy it, it doesn't matter to an investor. It may matter to you, it may matter to a couple of people, but you need a market need for your, your service. You need to show why your need is unique. You need to show why you uniquely fulfill that need and what your competitive advantage is. You need all of these things wrapped up in some kind of uh, PowerPoint presentation or slide pitch. And then the one thing that you need, and 
there are people out there who say, well, you don't need a business plan. You need a plan. And if you don't have a business plan, there's a great website that you can go to. It's called equitynet.com, E-Q-U-I-T-Y-N-E-T dot -E C-O-M. And that will actually walk you through building a business plan. They do charge for the service, but it's pretty minimal. And the nice thing about equitynet.com is they'll actually, if you sign up for their premium service, they'll tell you where the holes are in your business plan. So it's like having an advisor online. If you do have advisors like myself or the guys from SCORE or some other business advisor that you like, you can invite them as a user onto the equitynet.com platform and they can go in and take a look at your business plan as it's being developed and they can put in notes on it. It's a cloud-sourced application so everyone can join in together. So I think that's another great resource. So you need a business plan. And then obviously you need money. And that's where this angel group comes in. And obviously I could go on and on and on about springboarding your business, but you know I don't want to bore you. What I want you to know is you're not alone see around you there's a great network of people here I suggest that we all start networking with each other uh, my email address is jgoth at redtailcapital.com I also have some business cards if you want to approach me afterwards I'd be happy to hand them, hand them out but I am located in the Rabo Bank building on Marietta Hot Springs Road I work out of my garage or actually I have an office in my house Love scale. But one of the things I talked to Bruce about, and just to leave you with this, is I know that there are thousands of entrepreneurs here in the Marietta Temecula area that are working out of their bedroom like I do. And I told Bruce my goal is to get everyone out of their bedrooms into an office, hiring and generating economic activity. That's really how we get graded at TriTech, is what kind of economic impact do we have? So if I can help you grow your plan, attract a team, get funded, and get out and generating revenue, we've created economic impact. And that's what Bruce is all about, that's what Kim's all about, and that's what I'm all about. Thank you.